Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Just Open It, the YouTube series in which I open recently acquired action figures. My name is Russ, thank you for watching this video series, I really appreciate it. If you're an action figure collector or a fan of toys or pop culture in general, please subscribe to Karaoke Fanboy TV. I have a lot of toys I've purchased over the last few years and I'm finally getting around to opening them and I'd like to share that with you. So please uh, tune in every week as I open a brand new action figure. Well, new to me anyway, because this week's action figure is from way back when. You've seen me open a Tick action figure before, and I have quite a few of them that I need to open, uh, including this character, whose name is Evil Tongue Thrakerzog. I hope I'm saying that right. There are Tick fans that might be yelling at their devices right now because I didn't nail it, but um, I'll be honest with you. As much as I love the Tick and the spirit of, uh, of Ben Edlund uh, having created them, and I've watched uh, the Tick live action shows. I have a bit of a blind spot on this cartoon. I did watch it when I was a kid and loved it, but it isn't something I've rewatched as an adult. So a lot of these characters aren't as cemented in my mind as other uh, franchises are, like you know the DC characters or Masters of the Universe or Marvel and stuff like that. So uh, I'm excited to have these figures because it's encouraging me to get back into uh, the Tick's universe. And so I'm going to open this one today because it's quite frankly a huge bubble. It's a big box, and I just want to get it off the pile. It's taking up a lot of room. I mean, this is the equivalent of maybe two action figures stacked on top of each other. So this is a massive uh, figure for its time. And I did acquire this at auction. If you watched the last uh, video where I opened a Tick action figure, Death Hug Dean, I explained that I went to what I thought was an estate sale, but it turned out to be an auction where I bid on lots of action figures. Lots as in clusters of action figures, and lots as well, because I acquired quite a few that I'll be opening here on this series. And so I got a bunch of these Tick Toys, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, I think these are from, I, I think this is Wave 2 of, of the Tick's action figure series. Again, not totally sure, don't do a lot of research before I jump into this, but um, I am seeing a variant on the back, Hurling Tick. And then one of my favorite characters, um, American Maid, I just love the name, and... Uh, and the design of that character. The color changing Crusading Chameleon is a figure I acquired, so I'll definitely be opening him soon, and uh, and so on here. So, and I think I got this Mucus Tick as well, and it's interesting that he's under the Evil Doers uh, category, so I wonder if that's kind of like Slime Pit He-Man. Uh, again, just something I don't very vividly remember from watching this show in its first run on what, Fox, uh, Fox Kids says so right here. You can see the top of the box has been tattered. That looks like maybe an animal or something took a, took a bite out of it. Maybe a dog got its uh, got its chompers here on the corner of this box. So I'm opening it. The package has a uh, little value, though I do appreciate the design on the back. I like that the, uh, the, the pictures of the tick are in film reels, showing that um, he's really most popular at this time as a cartoon on TV and not so much as an independently published comic book. But big props again to Ben Edlund who is right up there with uh, Eastman and Laird with the Ninja Turtles for getting an independent comic book property like this uh, so well marketed and franchised at that time. Um, and I really wish that, um, well, uh, while they are, uh, independent properties are, are getting um, uh, made into movies and TV shows and stuff, independent superhero properties like this um, definitely demand uh, more attention as well. So, I mean, we pretty much just know uh, the Tick and the Ninja Turtles and a handful of Spawn, maybe, and just a handful of others. This has a great um, all-ages vibe to it. Adults and kids alike love the Tick, even still, with the great uh, show that was on Amazon Prime. And I don't think they had action... Uh, did they have action figures for that show? Uh, I'll have to look into that. But I'm going to go into this uh, pretty easily here because, again, the box is just basically donezo. Tearing into them effortlessly easy removal so you can see the ticks full visage right there awesome and i wonder if ben endland uh, drew the uh the package art or I i'm assuming somebody in the production offices of the, of the cartoon did there must have been um you know a marketing guide and, and stuff again i just wish that these packages gave credit to the artists because it would uh, really be it'd be fun to know who's responsible for the drawing of the tick and the design of the back you know somebody took the time to make this look pretty for kids at that in that era 
the 90s. So here he is, folks. Ooh, the musky smell um, from years of uh, probably sitting in storage. Because the auction that I went to was kind of, it, it kind of struck me as um, like a storage wars kind of auction. Like they were selling the contents of storage bins. So I don't know if this is like a toy store that went out of business, somebody's private collection. There were there was a lot of sports mobilia as well. So that's possible um, that this was just somebody's private collection and it was kind of eclectic. Evil Tongue Thrakorzog. Thrakorzog. I'm pulling him out of the package. Oh, he's ready. He's ready to ready to wreak havoc here. He looks like a dense figure, but he's actually pretty light. And then his tongue <laughs> is separate. Kind of reminds me of Venom's tongue here, the way uh, Eric Larson drew it. That's just the tongue. There you go. Ooh. Hello, ladies. <laughs> okay. I'm going to get rid of this big bubble once and for all, thank goodness. And here's the figure before the tongue application. Very cool. Oh, the arms, interestingly, are a single point of articulation. So there's, you know, what, what a bar that's connecting them inside the, the hull of the body here, which feels very light, must be hollow plastic. And I'm always fascinated by this toy because you have these little holes on the back. So I presume I can get like a little screwdriver. Yeah, and I can see I can get a little screwdriver and what? Dismantle this figure? Um, that stuff always intrigued me as a kid, but I don't think I ever followed through with dissembling a toy because I was afraid that I wouldn't be able to put it back together again correctly. So um, I'm not going to do that here either. But uh, here he is. Okay, so I thought this was the end of the tongue, like the, the part that would stick out. But it looks like this is the end of the tongue because it has a little, <laughs> it has its own little mouth on it. Can you see that? So <laughs> um, I presume this is the end I stick into the hole. There it is. Now, I, yeah, I figured something like this was going to happen. As I move the arms, the tongue seems to move. Is there some instruction here? Instructions. Turn Thrakerzog's arm around and watch his evil tongue spin around in crazy circles. Okay, so let me just make sure that's really in there. And it is, because I don't know if I could pull it. Okay, it does come back out, but... <laughs> what a fun feature here. Okay, so I'm sticking that tongue in there. And again, I'm not getting the full effect here. You can see it wants to, right? What if I start it up here? What if we defy gravity a little bit? Again, you can see it really wants to, but perhaps years of storage, dust, or whatever happens to these guys... There's that, at least. So the, the tongue does seem to have a life of its own when I just <laughs> go like that. So, Well, that's fun. Definitely cool to display um, alongside the other Tick figures that I'm slowly opening. Of course, I had uh, the Tick and uh, El Cid and, um, and a few other characters already. So buying this lot at that auction was actually getting closer to completing my, uh, my collection of these. Of these toys which is neat so and really the only reason I, I decided to invest in them not that it was a huge investment but you know again in the interest of space um, I did give in to nostalgia and I'm quite happy that I did because there were a few lines of action figures from this era of my youth that I just didn't really invest in and now in retrospect I wish I did I'm glad for the opportunity to, to kind of correct that mistake as a toy as a toy collector so here he is folks one more time I'm gonna say his name and uh, definitely, if anybody's trying to YouTube this character, I'm gonna have this video is gonna have to be in the top five, right? Who is specifically mentioning um, Thrakorzog in the uh, in the tags and descriptions of their videos? But there he is. Cool. Thanks again for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Like and subscribe if you dig it and want to see more. Uh, my name is Russ, and uh, tune in next time when I grab another one of these action figures just sitting around here in my apartment, and I look at it and I tell myself, you know what? Just open it. I'll catch you next time.